Hi, everybody. Welcome to Art Sparks. My name is Shivani Patel, and I have a second grader in Allen ISD. Thank you so much for letting me come into your classroom today to share a little art. Firstly, let's go over some rules. The first and most important rule is we must always respect the art. The second rule is to respect each other. And the third rule is there are no wrong answers in art. So let's get started today. I want you guys to think back to ancient times. What do you think the subject of all the artwork was about? What do you think they painted or drew about? Do you think they drew about people? Do you think they drew about places or even animals? Well, today we are going to learn about animals and art. And I have three beautiful paintings to share with you guys. So let's look at them. All right, guys, the first slide is called Tiger. And it was painted in 1912 by an artist called Franz Marc. Let's take a look at this painting. We see a tiger, right guys? What do you think the tiger is doing? How do you think the tiger is feeling? What do you think the tiger is staying? Like his habitat? There's all these questions we can ask by just looking at this one picture. Do we feel like the tiger is tired? Do we feel like the tiger is energetic? Do we feel like the tiger is sad? Or even do we feel like the tiger is happy? There's so many feelings that you can get from just looking at this one picture. So let's move on to the next. The next picture is called The Forest Fires. And it was painted in 1505 by Piero de Cosmio. All right, guys, let's take a look. What's happening in this picture? Yeah, it looks like these animals are in danger. Do you think they know that they're in danger? Well, let's see, let's take a look careful. I see some animals running away. I see some animals standing. I see some animals flying away. What do you think they're in danger of? Oh, you guys see it too. I see the fire. So some animals know that fire means danger. So they're running away. All right, let's look at the next picture. The next picture is called His Majesty Receives. And that was painted by William Holbrook Beard in 1885. I want to tell you a little bit about it. William Holbrook Beard was an American artist who traveled with the Hudson River painters through Europe and later worked and set up a fine arts academy in New York. What do you guys think is going on in this picture? Do you think that it's normal for animals to wear clothes? What do you think the artist was trying to say? Maybe it looks like the fox is the king based on his majesty, the title of the picture. What do you think he's asking for? What do you guys think he's getting? He could be getting money. He could be getting food. He could be getting a lot of things by just looking at this picture and all the animals. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed looking at these really, really awesome pictures. I wanted you guys to do me a favor. Can you guys grab a piece of paper and on that paper, I want you to draw your own animal in its own natural habitat. I had my second grader draw her favorite animal and she drew a fox. And she said the fox lives in the mountains. So she drew some mountains for her fox. I would love to see these beautiful pictures. I'm sure you can share them with your parents at home or your friends and your teachers at school. Thank you again for letting me come into your classroom. Bye-bye.